Today's Got to Life mini movie is called Mr. Billionaire and Ms. Millionaire, and this story is by Petal Heart, so I will have the original in the description down below. Hey, Blythe, can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. Do you think we'll ever meet again? Maybe. Come on, guys. We're all here for the group project, remember? <sighs> Waiting for them is definitely not worth it. Let's just focus on our part of the project. Yeah, I'll help too. What was my part again? You were supposed to- Madam Blythe, Sir Caden has arrived for the project. Bring him in. As you wish. Don't you wonder what our maids and butlers actually like? I mean, all they do is obey and tell us info. I think about it all the time. Right this way, sir. Good afternoon, Sir Caden. Let me help you with that coat. Just give me that. I'll tie it around my waist. Yes, of course. Sir Caden, is there anything else you would like? Just give me a glass of Coca-Cola. Ugh, millionaires. Their houses are much smaller than ours. My theater is 20 times bigger than this small room. Guess I'll have to adjust. All right, so Ivy, you should start on the heading. You guys already started? Oh, I'm sorry, your highness. You're late. This house is small, so I couldn't find it. Gosh, you're spoiled, dude. This house is 57 rooms. What more do you want? Can we stop talking about my house and get this over with? Yeah, yeah, whatever. The next week, book 47A, please. Yes, Miss Blythe, book 47A. Thanks. How much of the project is left, Ivy? Everything is done, but Caden still hasn't done his part. Ugh. Doesn't he know the meaning of do your part on time? Blythe writers, Carmen Rivers, Michaela Forrest, and Leon Parkers, you are requested to head to the principal's office. Did you do something? Nothing in particular. Sir, she's here. Oh, really? Right. What's going on? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I need you kids to listen very carefully. You all know Kaden very well, right? Best friend since first grade, his first cousin, childhood friends. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Blythe. He's been going to your house for a month now. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but that's just for a project. I'm sorry, but you'll have to tell me later. <sighs> now, as you all know, my son Kaden is an ungrateful and spoiled teenager. I'm afraid I failed at parenting him. He's so used to being treated like a king that he doesn't know anything about our society or how to live. He also knows nothing about business and he won't learn if I tell him to. I need to teach him to become responsible and independent. But how can we help with that? I'm asking a huge favor here, but I'll hope you'll cooperate. I need one of you to go to the village with him and live there. Uh, I'm out. Same here. I am uh, how long? At least a month. I'm so sorry, sir but tests are up and I can't skip them. I feel terrible. Uh, she's right, sir. What about the tests? Well, you guys didn't let me finish now, did you? You don't have to give the test, but you'll pass. <gasps> hmm. Yes, yes, do it. You don't have to study. This is perfect. But that's wrong. We should always work hard for our success. Oh, uh, please. You seriously want to study your head off for a month? But how about your dream college? And what will you tell Ivy? Imagine all that free time and no studying. But success? Ugh. Ah! Why can't you go with him? Well, me going with him will be an advantage for him. He's going to overreact and cry. And my fatherly side won't be able to stand in and I'll probably give up. Hmm, you do make a point. But where will we live? I've already booked a small hut. You'll both have to make your own food and live like the villagers. This is to teach Caden that he should be grateful for his life and work hard for success. What about my parents? I'll talk things through with them. Should I do this? I guess it could be a fun experience. Besides, you look so desperate. I'm willing to do it. <laughs> this is great. Thank you so much. What are you doing here? Didn't your dad tell you about the surprise? Uh, no. Then I can't tell you. Mom, Dad, what's going on? Will you please excuse us? Son, I have a surprise for you. Go change in the clothes in your room. And tell Blythe to change into hers. Okay, I guess. Do you think this is the right thing? I hope so. <laughs> you look ridiculous. What are you even wearing? Have you looked at yourself? Huh? Uh, uh, why are these sleeves ripped? It was you, wasn't it? Um, no, these are the clothes you'll be wearing for your surprise. I'm not really supposed to tell you, but I advise you to be ready for the surprise. I'm complaining to dead about this. Oh, no, you don't, mister. It's time you behave like a man. I ain't getting in that taxi. Either the private jet or the Ferrari. 20 minutes later. An hour later. What are we doing here? I said, what are we doing? doing here? Hmm. 
look, I need you to stop screaming and acting like a baby. You're living here for a month, whether you like it or not. Ugh. This was your dad's idea to teach you how privileged you are and that you should be more grateful. I don't believe you. Dad would never do that to me. Keep it down, will ya? No one can know we're actually from here or rich people. Now, come on, let me show you your house. Why would dad do this? Maybe to teach you that life isn't all rainbows and candies and you go to work hard to live the life of success? Either you try to make the best of this trip or keep acting like a two-year-old. The choice is yours. Ugh, she's right. I don't really have a choice either. I don't even know where I am. Ugh, let's just get this over with, I guess. Wow, the village is so peaceful and quiet. Uh, I wish I had that type of childhood. All right, Clara, lunchtime. Five more minutes, Mama. You can play after lunch. I'm sure it's your lunchtime too, Katie. Yep, you go home. I'm coming in a minute. Huh? Is she coming over here? Hello there. You must be new as I've never seen you around here. Um, yes, I am new here. I live in that house over there. That's great. Our house is just around the corner from yours. My name's Mersha and I live with my husband and four kids. He seems way too young to be married and have kids, let alone four. Oh, um, my name's Blythe. Blythe, why did you leave me all alone? Oh, this must be your husband. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, right, my husband. Well, hope to see you around, Blythe, and welcome to the community. Care to explain? Look, the village lifestyle is pretty different from ours, and we have to blend in. So if we don't act like everyone else, they'll get suspicious. So try to cooperate with me, okay? Besides, your dad will be really disappointed if we return. Ugh, fine. And that's our house from now on. Uh, Day one. Uh, phew. A little help, please? Ugh. Ugh, you do realize I know you're not asleep. So get your stupid booty over here and help me! I'm thirsty. Let's go milk the cows. What? Hi, we were expecting you to come because we saw you're new. My name is Derek and me and my wife own the village farm. It's nice to meet you. I'm Blythe and this is my husband, Kaden. Who is it, dear? The new villagers are here, hun. Welcome to our farm. You must be here for the milk or water. Yes, we are. We hope you don't mind. Why would we? It's why we own this farm. To provide to others. Here's the well to collect water from, and the cows are to your right. All right, thank you. Her husband sure seemed like he didn't enjoy our company. He's probably finding it hard to adjust in a new environment. Mama. Hello, my beautiful son. Mama's right here. Oh, look at the cute little chicken. Are you done? Why so moody? Let's just milk the cow and get this over with. <laughs> hey, milking the cow is actually kind of fun. Yeah, fun. Thank you for the milk. No problem. I'll be at the village shop if you need me. Something's not right. Is it because of earlier? Huh. Hey there, buddy. What you doing? Toy! Playing! What other toys do you have? More toys? Where? Uh, uh, this is the only toy he has? Yay! I probably had more than a hundred. I better go now, buddy. Bye! Bye-bye! Huh. Ah, uh, finally, my arms are so tired right now. Where did Blythe say she'd be at? Oh, right, the village shop. Get your apples! Hey, Blythe. Hi, Kaden. She seems to be fine now. Well, that's good. Now I don't have to apologize. And this is my husband, Kaden. Uh, hi, I'm husband. Uh, I mean, uh, Kaden. Oh, so you're married too? I'm still not married, but my parents are okay with it. Here's all the stuff. Thanks, Arendt. That'll be 50 cents. Oh, that's it? Uh, yeah. Okay, here. Uh, thank you. This is the most I've ever gotten from one customer. How much do you get in a day? Usually about a dollar or less. <laughs> Nothing more. More than that. We're so sorry for bugging you. See you later, I guess. Yeah, sure. It's already night. Well, congratulations, Mr. Billionaire. You passed one day. 29 days left, though. Can I get McDonald's as a gift? Uh, no. If you want dinner, you'll have to wait. Do you even know how to cook? Kinda. <laughs> Give it here. I bet you don't know either. I do, actually. I just don't. Oh, that's good. Less work for me. Huh? No, I'm teaching you. Oh, fine. How do you start a fire? Uh, hey, guys. Hey, Rent, my man. Ooh. How do you guys not know how to make a fire? Uh, of course we do. <laughs> we 
we just thought it would be fun for you to do it. Um, okay. You <laughs> close call. 40 minutes later. I can't believe we were able to make tacos in the village. You're really talented, Kaden. I'd rather have someone make it for me. Didn't you enjoy making these, though? Yum. Uh, I guess. Uh, I mean, no. I just did it because I didn't have any choice. Hmm. Yum. <gasps> so good! Oh, you could have at least helped in putting the fire out. Day two? Oh, it's already morning. Oh, she's sleeping on the ground? She seems so tired. I better go change now. Huh, where's Kaden? Uh, must be outside. After changing? Hey, Kaden, how come you're up so early? I was thirsty, so I got a bottle of milk. Just don't drink the whole thing, as we only have a few bottles. Here, try some. Hi, Blythe. Nice to meet you again. Nice to see you too, Mersha. This is my husband, Leon, I told you about earlier. Mersha told me about you both. Welcome to our village. Did you want to see more of the village? Yeah, I'd like that. Then let's go! So, how do you like it here so far? It's a nice place. You should should come to our house for dinner someday. Sure, that'd be nice. Marcia makes the best food ever. The first time I met her, I immediately fell in love with her cooking skills. It was five years ago. I was lost in this village. My family kicked me out because I wasn't making enough money. And I made my way and unexpectedly was standing outside her house. I saw her through the window standing in the kitchen making dinner with her mother. Her family took me in and one year later, I got married to Marcia. Wow, that's really amazing. How did you meet your wife? Uh... uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, 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 don't cry! <laughs> Will do you two get along? I, I hate, hate you! you. Uh, yeah! The past few days have been great with Kaden. Never knew he would actually cooperate and work hard. Well, that's what I thought until day eight. <laughs> Phew! I've never done this much work. Usually the maids do this. I'm so tired. I should rest for a bit. I'm home. Sleeping again? Wake up! Uh, sorry, I'm just really tired. Tired from what? I was cleaning and I feel... Cleaning? That's it? Excuse me? Dinner. Now! Uh, who does he think I am? His maid? So all you gotta do is mix the carrots with the lettuce. And then mix all the ingredients together. Alright, thanks. What are you doing? Talking? I told you to cook, not talk. Well, I'm sorry, your highness. Maybe you should cool down a bit. I'm not your wife, nor your maid. Uh, uh, what's going on? You both need to calm down. How are you not his wife? You're both married, silly. Uh, look what you made me say, eat. Not my fault. Can you guys, like, explain to me what's going on? So, yeah, that's our story. Uh, uh, you're a uh, uh, millionaire? And you're a uh, billionaire? Yeah. I I've never been around rich people. Look, you cannot tell anyone about this. Yes, your highness. And please, just treat me like you used to. Well, that's gonna be hard, but uh, I'll try. Why is she crying? Um, hey. <sighs> What do you want? I wanted to say I'm sorry for behaving like that. I just wanted to go home. You're not the only one who has everything done for them. I may not be a billionaire, but I live a life similar to yours as well. I came here to help you and to experience something fun. I'm really sorry, Blythe. I didn't think of it that way. <sighs> I really like the way I was treated here equally. The way they didn't whisper about me being a spoiled brat. And now Orent is just gonna treat me like every other maid or butler. I'll try to make it up to you. How about I make dinner for the rest of the week? Yeah, sure, I guess. Day 12? <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, what's wrong, sweetie? Mama? I don't know where your mother is. <laughs> hey, look, why don't you come with me and we'll try to find your mom? Mama! I'm home. Do you need anything from the shop? I think you should meet someone first. Uh, who's this little guy? Dad! Uh, I'm sorry, buddy, but no. <laughs> I found him all alone on the street crying. I couldn't leave him like that, so I brought him with me. What are we gonna do with him? Keep him? Until we find his parents, of course. Uh, I don't know, Blythe. What if he gets attached to us? We're only gonna be here for a few more weeks. Oh, come on. We'll think of something. Ugh. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, hello there, dear. Where are your parents? Dead, over here. Slow down, buddy. Hello, Kaden. I never knew you both had a son. Uh, well, he's not exactly our son, but I can't tell you in front of him. Um, okay. Why don't you go talk with the others while I get the eggs for you? <laughs> 
Yeah, sure. And I'll show this little guy the chickens. I'm sure he'll find that fun. Come on, little guy. <laughs> so that was Mr. Billionaire and Ms. Millionaire. I got to like mini movie by Petal Heart. I will have the original in the description down below. Let me know what other gotcha stories you'd like to see me react to next. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe to come here married or merman. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.